the gym's hot rods beyond where it's gonna go down with the GMC handy van that's the real deal right there you vanners out there especially the VCVC VC crew you better get ready because it's going down this is gonna be crazy shit we're talking about I just knee deep I just jumped into the steel work man it is gonna be damn damn nasty I'm off the chain that's the way you crew out there run. But here it is. Plain Jane. Okay, we're going to go right down it. I stripped the front bumper. This is what's going on with the front. Okay? The crazy son of a bitch is going to take that bumper right the fuck off there. No bumper. We're running with no bumper. It's going to be smooth as ass. Right there. Going to weld the holes right up. Pan it. We're going to cut the grill up because that grill's all fucking nasty anyways. Looks like crap. But we're going to put stainless in there. Solid stainless. Mirror finish. Big dollar shit. Okay? Because that's the way I roll with my shop. Then we're going to go from the front. We're going to take all the dings out of it. Because, you know, I can't roll like that. I'm, uh, I don't like holes or dings. I can't stand rust. I freaking hate rust. So I took the glass out to get it started. Uh, this is what? First week of October. I had to get this shop. I had to get it vanned. You know what I'm saying? This shop's 100% van ready. Ready to go. We're going to get this baby done by the end of the year. It's going to be done. Complete. Before the spring because of the car shows. So we took the glass out. Now I know I'm motivated. Took the bumpers off. Motivated. We got to start stripping. I got to take all the buckets out. I do not leave anything in this van before paint. Everything has to come off. Completely stripped out. All the wires are out except the light buckets and that right there. I'm getting rid of the lights. I'm putting, ready for this? I'm putting 1956 Ford lights in behind the grill, which is stainless. That's going to blow your mind. Don't even, don't even get me going. Don't even ask me how I'm going to do it because it's just going to be done. Then we're going to go from here to the doors. Because the doors are complete. Oh, uh, well. Speechless. I don't know what to say about the doors. This, it, it, there's so many holes in these doors. I don't know what somebody was thinking. But we're going to go from here. Too much rust. A little rust. A lot of rust still. Too many freaking holes. We're going to get rid of that. Did you see? Look at In a restoration, you take all of this out. I am so tired of sick of people painting over the trim. They're not taping tight enough. It's not the correct way to do it. You take everything out of the door. Completely done. We're cutting the hinges right the fuck off. This thing is going to be smooth and shaved. No hinges. No door handles. Smooth. Auto poppers electronic. No vent window. Nothing. All gone. One solid piece of glass. If that works. We won't find out until I get there. Okay. We ain't going to go inside until the end. We're going to go all the way to the back. Now, you see how bad this thing is jacked up in the air? In one of the videos, I showed you the engine and the uh, power plant and those big-ass meats that I was going to run over them Hondas. Well, guess what? There's four quarters in a rear-end project. I'm three quarters through. I already got one quarter done. The shocks are completely done. You know what that means? She's getting ready for tubbed 15-inch wide Mickey Thompson steamrollers. This baby is going to be off the chain, okay? It's going to be unbelievable. Unbelievable. Then we're going to go back from there. Wait, take a quick look at the rear end. See how we got this? This is the original rear end. It was completely loaded with grease. It's going to be clean and awesome. You, it's going to be this, the, all the suspension, the drivetrain, the rear end is going to be the same color as the engine, which is the copper tone. The hole underneath is going to be gloss black. It's going to be beautiful. Okay. I'm stuck to the back because that's where the big, that's where the big uh, surprise is always there. Okay. Again, we shave the rear bumpers off. No bumpers being run because this is a tail pan. People that don't know this, this is a tail pan. Not a bumper, tail pan. We're going to fill these holes in where the bumper brackets went in. This is going to be completely smooth. Now here's this. 
this van is a t six doors. It's only going to have six doors. Two are going to be horizontal, not vertical. This is going to down a drop down tailgate, a flip up hatchback. Look at the doors. Here's the doors. I've already got it marked out and laid out. These two windows, if you can see them, is going to be one piece of glass. 45 and a half by 18 inches wide. It's going to be badass. Black tint with a defroster in it. It's going to be amazing. You're going to, people are going to go out of their mind. They're going, to say, they're going to know what European dealership did I buy that at. Because that is what it's going to look like. It's going to, it's going to go Euro style. But we're going to go around here. That's about all I'm going on right now. It's just a lot of welding. A lot of fabrication. Uh, and then... Basically, what we're gonna do is we're gonna take we're gonna take a handful of this stuff right here. Let's see if you can get this. This is the real McCoy right here. Okay, that's not your beach sand. That's the real deal. This is double O N sandblast, industrial strength automotive sandblast. That's the real deal. Okay, I got 500 pounds to get rid of the shit off that sucker because this thing has got more bondo than an auto body supply house. Uh, I just don't, it's so full of dents, but we're gonna, we're gonna tub this thing. We're gonna go inside now, okay? You can see I got the, I got the uh, tools laid out if you can't see it. But we're gonna tub this thing. We're gonna go over here because it's a little easier to see. Right now, she's about 16 inches wide. Um, uh, excuse me, more, it's more like 14 inches wide, but it's gonna be uh, 20 inches wide in the tubs, okay? So I have a long way. Basically, I'm taking the, the rear springs and putting them under the uh, the main tube axles, which is a unibody chassis. And actually, the front end is already set up like that from the factory. All I'm doing is taking the rear end and uh, mimicking or matching the front. Basically, putting the springs into the inside. And as you can tell, I cut a big gaping hole for my engine and headers. Originally, I had some big long tube um, hooker competition headers with a two inch, um, basically main tube. They're, they were going to look good on it, but instead I found some stainless steel ones that tight. So that hole is a little too big now, but I will think, uh, I'm going to clean that up. I have some big plans for that. That doghouse is probably going to be an automatic electronic slide out doghouse so you just hit a button or when you shut the van off it slides out automatically so it's always open so people can see it I don't have to do much with that I don't have to say too much about that it's gonna be blowing people's minds but uh, you can see how this uh, this van is not in bad shape though now that I'm starting to get into it you know and it's only been uh, about a week now that I just uh, started working on it but you're going to see how fast things go. This thing is going to be amazing. Uh, come inside here. If you look at the bridges on the roof, the roof is done. Okay? Too damn done. All that white uh, spot weld primer. I call it spot weld primer because that's exactly what somebody did. Somebody spot welded the uh, main supports to the roof and actually buckled the roofs. Now i got to go back and cut those all out. All right? So we're going to get to the next video on the other end. Have a good day. Go Vanners.